Hi everybody, I'm Spike Brave, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to purchase a battle mech in MechWarrior Online. In this video we'll go to the store section and we'll go to the battle mech section and we'll show you how to purchase a battle mech and I'll tell you a little bit about the different kinds of chassis that are available and a few gotchus that you may encounter about champion mechs and uh, just a little talk about how we purchase a battle mech. So first of all you can see I've got my UI open, I'm in the home or the store tab and on the left hand side I have this nice navigation pane as we mouse over our options it'll tell us what we're doing. If I mouse over battle mechs it says view purchasable battle mechs. So let's go and purchase a mech. So as you can see I open up the navigation pane and my center nav or my center display option there shows me a uh, accordion of all the battle mechs in the game. This isn't sortable by the uh, tech stack, so Inner Sphere and Clan Mechs will both be displayed. And we'll talk a little bit, little bit about the uh, navigation options we have on the left and top to start out our discussion of purchasing a battle mech. So let's look at what we have on the top of the accordion here. We have this sort option, and if we open that up, we can see we can sort by chassis name ascending, chassis name descending, class ascending, and class descending. So let's talk about these filters on the left navigation pane that are a little bit more useful in my opinion so what we can say first of all is all the battle mechs so this will show us all the battle mechs we can purchase in the game as you can see it's quite a big list so you may want to pare it down a little bit so let's click on light light battle mechs weigh between 20 and 35 tons and i do want to make a little disclaimer right here you may hear me say 10 tons as the low end of the weight range that has to do with the BattleTech board game and sometimes i slip into saying that because they can weigh that little on the pen and paper game we don't have those in MechWarrior Online so if I slip up I should be saying 20 is the low end of that weight scale so as you can see the accordion changes just a little bit and we see the light mechs so let's look at a couple light mechs to talk about what we see in the accordion so first of all we have this arrow here that will allow us to expand the accordion and see the mechs in the particular chassis and the next thing we have is the chassis name so these are adders we see next the class of the battle mechs, so these are light battle mechs, and then we also see the number of variants available for this chassis. So let's open that up and look at our adders again. So as you can see, there are four variants inside the accordion here, and let's talk about the thumbnail. So first of all, we see the battle mech's name. So this is the adder A. The A would be the variant of the chassis, of the adder chassis, so ADRA is a variant of the adder, and that's what we'll be looking at when we look at purchasing a battle mech, there's a chassis and then a variant. Think about it like cars, we've got to make it a model. And those are pretty much just different hard points that are available to the different machines. So then we have a picture of the battle mech. It says how many you own next, so I own one Adder A. And then we have the price listed in MC, so this battle mech costs 2,775 MC and that's the real world money. The next thing we have is the price listed in C-Bills, and that is six million, six point nine million. I'm not going to go read the whole number. So if I want to purchase it for C-Bills, that's how much I'd spend. If I would like to purchase an Adder A, all I need to do is click buy, and then I get this nice little pop-up. If I check the MC option, it will deduct MC from my account. If I check the C-Bill option, it will dedu deduct C-Bills from my account. It does tell me how many of each I have available. So if I hit OK right now, I would purchase an Adder and it would be available for me to go to the mech lab and mess around with. So I'm not gonna do that right now. I do own an Adder A, so that's not necessary, but we'll cancel out of this. And we'll talk a little bit about MC and C-Bills. MC are currency that you purchase from the MechWarrior Online store, and that's how you spend real world money in the game. C-Bills you earn just by playing the game. And for a brief discussion of that, anything you do that hurts the enemy team or helps your allies will pretty much earn you C-Bills. If you'd like a more detailed discussion on those currency types, check out my home tab tutorial. I go through them in detail there. I will provide you a link to that tutorial in the description of this video if you want to know more about those particular currency types. So I've shown you how to buy a battle mech. Let's talk about this in greater detail. So first of all, in these filters, we have light. And we've talked about our adder. He's a light mech. Uh, medium, those are mechs that weigh between 40 and 55 tons. The next category is assault. And those are heavy, I'm sorry. And those weigh between 60 and 75 tons. And then finally, we have our assault battle mechs. And those weigh 80 to 100 tons. 
So let's talk about the special types of battle mechs. First of all, we have champion mechs, and I'll click on that. And we'll see a list of all the different chassis that have champion variants. So let's open up the fire starter, and we'll see that there is one fire starter champion mech available. So what you'll see here is that this battle mech is identical to the Firestarter FS9S model. What's different about it is that it is a champion mech, and what that means is it comes with a special loadout that's been voted upon by the community usually as a very good build for this type of battle mech. And what's also special about this battle mech is that it comes with a bonus to the chassis of 10% more experience when you play a match. So if you play a match, it'll tally up your experience points and add 10% to that total and give you that many experience points for the chassis. So that's what it means to own a champion mech. Now, something else that we see when we look at the thumbnail is that this mech is only available for MC. So if you want a champion mech, you'll have to purchase it with real money. Otherwise, it is identical to the standard Firestarter FS9S. Sorry about the delay there. That's just hard for me to say for some reason. So if we go back to the light battle mech category, it will show us all the light battle mechs. See my fire star is still selected. And here is the FS9S. And if we look over, here's the FS9S with a C after it in the name to indicate it's a champion. We also see that the thumbnail changes just slightly to have a C in the corner here that I'm pointing to right now. So that's what makes our champion mech slightly different. So as you can see, when I mouse over the thumbnail, I get a nice little pullout that tells me a lot of information about this battle mech. And that includes this loadout. So if we buy the champion, this comes with five medium lasers and two AMS. So let's go look at the regular FS9S. So you can see the loadout's different. But everything else about it is the same. The hard points remain the same. The quirks remain the same. So what we're getting is a potentially better loadout. If it fits your play style better, it's a matter for you to decide what the best loadout is. So I'm not going to say that the champion loadout is flat out better. But they do offer particular advantages. And if you're a new player and struggling with a build, it could be a good place to start. So that's our differences. The... The bump to XP, the fact we can only buy it for money, and a little bit better loadout potentially. So that's been a talk about those champion mechs. And as you can see, there are champion mechs through the entire weight category. So we'll close the fire starter back up. And as you can see, we have lights, mediums, heavies, and assaults. Right now, if you're looking at my screen, you'll see that there's only inner sphere champions available. I happen to know that they're planning clan champions shortly. So if you're out here looking at this video and it's a couple months old you'll probably see clan champions and they'll work the exact same way 10 percent buff to experience points and perhaps a slightly different loadout so that's been a talk about these champion battle mechs let's talk about hero battle mechs hero battle mechs are usually taken from the lore of the battletech board game i'll talk more about the specific lore to a chassis when i do a video about the chassis but generally these are taken from the lore and they were piloted by a famous mech warrior and what they are is they are also a specific chassis. So let's look at our commandos. If I open that up, we'll see that the death knell is a commando and it is a hero mech. So again, we'll see a couple changes to the thumbnail. We have an H in the white circle and I'll point at that again. So that tells us it's a hero mech. And again, only available for MC. Now these come with a 30% boost to Seabills. So that's very attractive that they earn more Seabills per match. So uh, that's one difference. Another difference is they have a unique hard point layout than the other variants of the chassis. And finally, they come with a unique paint job. So if we look at our death knell, we can just click on him and we'll see our picture on the left change. And you see he has a unique paint job and camo pattern. So his isn't real all that special. Let's go look at one that has a lot of stuff going on. Let's look at the Atlas Boar's Head. So we'll click on him. You can see he's got a very detailed paint job. He's got uh, all kinds of yellow all over him, lots of patterns, a uh, stylized boar's head over his head. So that's what you're getting when you purchase a hero mech. You get a permanent buff to sea bills that never goes away. You get a special paint job and a unique hard point layout. 
So that's been a look at how we purchase the battle mech, some of the information that's available. And before we move on, I do want to talk about one potential got you when you're purchasing battle mechs. And it has to do with champion mechs. If you purchase a mech pack from the store, you will receive a special variant that's related to that pack. So let's go to my mech lab real quick and we'll talk about that. So we'll say select mech. We'll go light and we'll go to my urban mech. Now my urban mech R63 variant was the special mech for this pack. So if I click on him, what we'll see is that he has some special stuff. So I'll select him and I'll make my mech lab small so we can get a good look at him. Now you can see he came with a special paint job. He gets a bonus to, a bonus to C-Bills and experience points. Now when you're purchasing your, your mech pack, look at the FAQ. It'll tell you which variant is the specialty mech. And it will also tell you the bonuses that that particular chassis gets. Now when we look at this particular mech, we see that it is listed as a champion mech and it has the C by it. That's how they've denoted these specialty mechs that you purchase in the pack. If you'd like another example, let's go look at Locust. I purchased the Phoenix pack, and you can see here I have a Locust LCT-1V, and it's got a P to denote the Phoenix pack. So, and again, it's listed as a champion. It has buffs to experience and C-bills. We'll select him. We'll see that he has a special camo pattern and unique geometry. And usually these are just minor changes. The thing that's unique about the uh, Locust is you can see right here over his head, he's got a roll bar. So he's got these two roll bars, roll bars here that protect the uh, pilot a little bit better. It's purely cosmetic. It doesn't actually provide any protection. If you're looking out, you do feel a little bit more protected because you see the roll bars. But if we go to a different Locust, we will see that he does not have those roll bars. So if we look at him, you can see those roll bars are not included on him. And that's generally what you'll see in these Special team X that come with the packs are listed as a champion. They have boost to experience and XP. If you're wondering about that, go to the FAQ of the pack that you're interested in. And it will tell you what the special team X mechs are and what the bonuses are. I don't want to list those out because they may change over time as they release new packs. So uh, as always, if you're purchasing something out on the, out on the website, go look at the FAQ and uh, read it carefully to make sure that you know what you're getting. But unique geometry, unique paint job, and or unique camo pattern is the usual thing. And then buffs to the experience and C-bills you earn in that mech. So the other thing that you'll want to be aware of, let's go back to the store here. And we'll look at Locust since we were looking at that. And let's go all. So here we are on my, or on a Locust LTC-1V. That was my Phoenix mech. It's not a regular mech. It's tracked in game as a champion mech. So it says I don't own any. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing those specialty mechs from mech packs. They don't show up in here. So you may uh, need to be a little bit more careful when you're selecting a mech to purchase. Because if you have one of those specialty mechs, it won't show up in here as being owned because it's a champion mech. But because it's only available through the package, if I go champion, we'll see there's no Locust champion right now. So... That's how that works. So keep that in mind that when you buy those specialty mechs that they won't show up in the store as champion mechs. So uh, keep an eye on those variant numbers when you're purchasing mechs if you own a specialty mech. I did want to make everybody aware of that. I have seen lots of complaints in the forum about people who have purchased a regular variant of a champion mech and have been a little disappointed that they got the exact same mech with a slightly different paint job. No bonuses, but it's the exact same mech. So that's been a talk about these different types of battle mechs. I hope that's been informative to you, and I realize it's kind of long. But let's talk about some of the other stuff we can do from the store here. As you can tell, as we go through and select our battle mechs, let's go to the Cicada Champion. That the picture over here on the left-hand side changes to let me know what mech I have selected. Now, as I pointed out earlier, we can mouse over this and get the pullout that has all the information in it. Now, if you'd like to uh, get more detailed information, we have this information box in the are on the bottom that says mech stats. And this works just like the one in the mech lab. So if we click on that, it pulls out and we see the same information pretty much as that's in the pop-up. 
Um, works the same way as always. We're getting our indicators that tell us what specialty items can be equipped on this mech. So AMS and active probe on him. He does not have them in his current configuration, but I could put them on if a mech owns a specialty item when you purchase it. Let's go look at the Raven because he does. So the Raven Champion has ECM and AMS, and we can see that the green circles are now, or the circles are now green instead of red, denoting that it is actually equipped on the machine. So that gives us a lot of information. Something that you can do is uh, play with it in the mech lab before you purchase it to allow you to see if the build that you want to put on this mech you can actually do before you buy it. So as you can see, there's this button that says view in mech lab. So if we click on that, we'll get a notice that says, hey, I can uh, view and edit my equipment, but I won't be able to save it till I purchase it. So if you'd like to play with your mech a little bit first, you can see I'm out in the mech lab. I have a Raven 3L champion selected. And I can change its loadout. So let's go center torso. Let's not. Let's go missile. I can take the SRM-6 out. I can put an SRM-4 in. So at this point, I could uh, play with the loadout of this mech to see if I could load it out the way I wanted to before I purchased it. So uh, keep that in mind. If you need more information about battle mech loadouts, check out my tutorial there. I go through a very detailed uh, tutorial on how to use all of the features here that are available in the mech lab. But uh, for this video, when you're purchasing a battle mech, I just want to let you know that, hey, you can come out here and play with your battle mech. And you can also paint it if you'd like. So we can go to the camo spec, and I have a tutorial for that as well. So this allows you to see what you're buying before you purchase it. I think this is very valuable and just an awesome feature. So I wanted to make everybody aware that that was there. I think it's great. So when you're wanting to purchase a battle mech, come out here and play with it a little bit first and see if you can load it out the way you'd like. So we'll hit back a couple times to get back to the store. Oh, just once, I guess. And now we are back in the store. And the final thing I'd like to tell you about purchasing a battle mech is that you need a mech bay. I will show you how to purchase those in another tutorial because it's on the next tab. So keep an eye out for my next tutorial because it'll talk about mech bays. But mech bays are pretty much garages for your mechs to sit in. You'll start out the game with four. And as you purchase more, you can purchase more battle mechs to put in those mech bays. So you'll need one mech bay for every battle mech that you purchase from this screen. Now, if you purchase battle mechs in other ways, they usually come with the mech bays you need. So if you go out and purchase a bundle with a mastery pack, that comes with the mech bays you need. If you go out to the website and order a battle mech package, comes with the mech bays you need. Pretty much the only time that you need to come out and purchase a mech bay is if you're buying battle mechs from this screen. And the final thing I'd like to mention in this video is the information related to the sales that are currently going on. If you want to know more about the sales, check out my store tab overview. I talk about sales there, and that's the information that we see in the center screen when we're on the uh, home section of the store tab. But that information is also available here. So if we were to purchase a battle mech that was on sale, we'd know it when we looked at the thumbnail of the battle mech so we'll come back to our hero battle mechs and we'll go to the atlas which i happen to know is on sale for this particular sale it's running as i'm making this video and we'll see that the thumbnail contains some slightly different information we still have our the name of our battle mech the picture how many we own and the price but you'll see that we have this flag that says sale so we know what's on sale then we also have this additional information here that's a countdown that tells us how much time is remaining on the sale and then it lists the price that it is currently being sold for. So this is the sale price that's being displayed. So that's all the information that I believe that you need to purchase a battle mech and mech warrior online. As always, I hope you found this video to be useful. If you have a question, please feel free to leave me a note in the comments below. I will do my best to answer it. And if it's a particularly juicy question, I'll make a video to address that particular issue that you raise. As always, have great luck on the battlefield and hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.